Last time we worked on this ski, we mentioned that the side of the hull is blown out, so it looks like somebody did a repair on it, and the gel coat doesn't match. So today, we're gonna fix the gel coat and get this matched into the top of the hull. Right, I'm gonna use this sander with an A-grip pad. I'm gonna buzz over all the yellow. I'm gonna avoid my chines because we're gonna use hand sand for that. Um, and we're doing this so that the gel coat has something to adhere to. Now that I got the hull all the way sanded down, I'm gonna take sandpaper by hand and I'm gonna sand over all my chines and I'm gonna make sure that none of them have a rough edge on it and then match the OEM when it continues to the back that we didn't touch in. Now that our entire hull is sanded down and I've gone through the chines by hand and I've matched the OEM towards the back, I'm going to wash it down with just water and dish soap to kind of lift any oils that were put in by my fingers or anything else. And then I'll let it dry overnight and I'll come back and I'll repair all my chips with some gel coat repair. So now we're gonna take our die grinder and we're gonna go along these couple chips that are in the bottom of this. We're gonna V it out um, and then we're gonna fill it in with some uh, Evercoat. All right, now that you have your, uh, now that you have your fiberglass v out, I take acetone and I'm just going to clean up inside so that the patch has the best way of sticking. Awesome. Not, a, not a ton of area that had the gouges on it. They're superficial, but we're still going to fill them in if we're going to re up the bottom of this. All right, I'm going to tape off my areas that I don't want to get. Just so I don't have to deal with cleanup later. Right, so for filling in those very light sacrificial gouges, I just use this Evercoat uh, gel coat repair kit because at the end of the day, we're gonna go over this with the entire new gel coat anyway, so it doesn't matter the coloring. So. I'll get it as close to the yellow as it is on the bottom of the hall. Once your filler is in, they'll provide the kit provides you with um, plastic sheets. I've used the kit so many times I've ran out of them, so I just use wax paper. So you're supposed to put it over it, kind of level it out so that it can harden all the way. While we're waiting for our patches to dry, I'm gonna attack the pink with the same steps that we used in the previous video on the top coat. I gotta remove this uh, intake grate first, and then we'll get to that. All right, so if you have not seen our detail video, check it out. This is the same steps we're using. I'm using Meguiar's oxidation scrub. I'm using a fine scotch right pad and I'm gonna scuff this whole bottom up with the oxidation scrub and I'll come back and buff it out. Just be sure that you're not getting any water on your patch areas. All right, so next day, our patches are dry. I've removed the tape and the wax paper on them. Real quick, it doesn't matter for me because I'm gonna gel coat the entire yellow portion of this hull, but if your patches are still see-through, somewhat translucent, you didn't put enough tinting in them, you need to tint them more. 
So I'm gonna sand the patches smooth and then I'm gonna move on to gel coat. All right, so for our gel coat process, I like to use this brushable gel coat. And the only reason why I'm using this is because it's on the bottom and not our top side. If it was our top side, I'd be spraying it. They don't make something that's close to sea yellow, so you're gonna have to buy yellow and you're gonna have to buy white, and you're gonna have to try to blend it as close as you can to match the top side. For this step, we're using our brushable gel coat, so we're gonna use a foam roller, our pan, and we're gonna mix it to our directions for our temperature in here, which is 70 degrees. All right, so our first layer of gel coat is down. Uh, once this is fully cured, I'll hit it with 300, scuff the entire thing again, lay a second coat down. By then, I'll be able to tell how thick it is, and I may need a third coat. But in terms of the gel coat on the bottom side, this is done. Uh, I'll hit it with 800, I'll work my way up with 1500, and then I'll buff it out. So on the next episode, we'll start assembling both of these hulls so we can get them closer to being in the water. Thanks for tuning in. Mess a little biscuit? Why? Yeah, you can't mess a biscuit. Why? Because we get it on. When? Every day and every night. See this? See this platinum thing right here? Uh huh. We do it all the time. So you better get some better pizza and uh, get some better rounds. Boom!